What's going on, everybody? It's Lamar Fashion again, and I just want to share some finds I made today. Today was a pretty cool day, you guys. Um, about five days ago, my little son David was uh, playing in the restroom, and uh, he bumped his head, poor thing. And um, he had to have some stitches, and he got those out today. And he was such a good boy. So we decided, you know, let's go take him, try to find him something. We found him something. And uh, I found some stuff, too. So I'm going to show you what I found today. And uh, a couple pieces I've been holding on to I wanted to share with you guys. But um, I wanted to revisit these um, M2s here. I cracked the auto lift a little while ago. And I wanted to revisit these pieces. We'll take a look at each of them. These uh, these Chevys here, you know, I forget what year this is. This is a 55 Bel Air. Uh, these are awesome. See, it says Azusa, California, and I don't know what D slash G is, but the uh, the Foothill Boulevard Flash, you guys, that is so cool. And you guys know I'm a fan of M2. You know, we've got we've got a metal base. We've got rubber tires, slicks in the back. That's cool. This thing wants to go drag racing. You know, plastic chrome bumper, inserts for the brake lights, you know, trim detail, just tons of detail for the money. These things come with, well, okay, well, they come with opening doors, but sometimes, you know, they don't want to open. Well, we've got an opening door on the passenger side. It opens just fine. Got some details on the dash there. Two bench seats. That's nice. But what I really wanted to show you was under the hood of this one, and in particular, the other one. I hope I can get this hood closed. I had a little problem dealing with it and practicing off camera, but there's some engine detail for you guys. Yeah, see, I'm going to have to fight with it to close it. There we go. have to kind of snap it closed. Now on to this one, you know, basically the same casting. But uh, what I neglected to mention when I first showed this is this is a resto mod. We got modern rims and tires, and look at the trim work in that against that black, that cream interior. That's just really nice. And if you guys recall, if you've ever seen the inside of one of these cars, look at that detail there on the dash. That is just. So nice by uh, M2. Look at that huge steering wheel. Let's see if I can open the door. The door opens nice and clean on this one. And look at that huge steering wheel, you guys. It's really nice. But I, what I wanted to show you is this is a resto mod. Look what's under the hood of this thing, you guys. I didn't notice it before. But you guys, please comment below. Isn't that a... Uh, Supercharged Chevy small block, you guys. I think it's the same engine from the ZR1. I'm not sure. It could be from the Camaro. But look at that, you guys. That wets my whistle. And it's kind of mounted sideways in there, I think. But that's really cool. That's just an awesome detail from M2, you guys. And I really like that kind of stuff. Um, as a collector, uh, I, I give... Uh, M2 a strong buy, <laughs> whatever my opinion is worth. But let's get into it. Uh, going to show you, uh, well, you guys have seen these, but I just want to crack them from the uh, current release. I think this is uh, the C case of the Hot Wheels Real Riders or Heritage. Let's crack that. This is the 71 Plymouth Satellite. I have to be up front. Flames, not my thing, but uh, this is a wagon, and since I'm crazy about wagons, I had to crack this one. Big fan of wagons, you guys. Um, hatchbacks, just I like the idea of all the windows and the storage space in the back. It's got a metal base. It's got real riders. You guys know about the Heritage Series, if it's even really called that, you guys, because... It's nowhere on the packaging. Next up, the Ford Transit Supervan. This one's been making the rounds. This is an awesome casting, you guys. I really like it. I don't know why I'm talking about it. Let's just crack it. It's time to free the piece, you guys. What are we waiting for? 
what are we waiting for? The packaging, it's, you know, it's redundant, really. I just want the casting. And this is a really nice casting. I really like these things. I'm starting to get into vans. I'm starting to get into different trucks. I love the wheels on this thing. I've got to learn how to do wheel swaps because these particular wheels, I don't know what they're called, but they just look the business. There you guys are. I hope you can see that. I don't know how the lighting is going, but uh, trying to crack some cars for my friends out there. Okay, now on to the, some finds I found today. This morning I clocked out and uh, Walmart is right by my job. I mean, I drive, what, a couple hundred feet and there it is. And I found this, Dale Earnhardt Jr. Um, this is from the NASCAR Authentics series. But look, it's got Superman all over it. So that's just sick. I'm going to go ahead and crack this. I glanced over this the first time I saw it. And uh, that's really a shame. But uh, I just wanted to go ahead and show this to you guys. That's an awesome little piece there. It's different, you know. Uh, I don't watch NASCAR. I don't know much about NASCAR. I do know that they uh, drive on high bank circuits and they seem to turn left. But it's a, you know it's a spectacle, and uh, you know if you like crashing, you know that's great. So. You know, and NASCAR is really big in this country. There are lots of NASCAR fans, but I understand it's technical, but um, you know, I like passing under the conditions of, say, a road course. Uh, I find that more engaging. Um, being that, you know, I live in L.A., you can, you can go up to the canyons and, you know, kind of enjoy that vehicle dynamics and things like that. There are no... There are no um, high speed bank uh courses out here so you can't just go do that anyway here's another fine the BMW M5 the Pulitzer that's super cool go ahead and crack that when Matchbox decides to do real cars they really do it right this is the first M5 in my collection so I'm very happy about that and I'm also very happy Every time Matchbox decides to do a BMW, they really do it right. Customizers could go nuts with this. But I like it the way it is. So that's a, that's a cool piece. Let's see if I can arrange these. There we go. No particular order. Now, something very interesting after we went to the doctor with my little son, he was such a good boy, you guys, when he got his stitches out. And uh, so I go into this store, uh, can't, and, and check this out, you guys. You're just not going to believe this, okay? I found short cards. Um, I'll just start with this one. Uh, it, there was some 2016 A case, and of the cars that were there, I really only wanted this one, the Tesla Roadster. And look, it's on a shorty, you guys. And check this out. Okay, so these are international short cards. And look, we've got what I assume to be Russian writing on the back. I'm not entirely sure. But that's pretty cool. So let's crack it. I have to take this off camera. I didn't want to crack cleanly for me. But again, huge fan of Tesla. You guys know this. It's a local thing for me right here in Hawthorne, California. They have a huge uh, plant there at the uh, Hawthorne Municipal Airport. So, huge fan of Tesla. That's really cool, you guys. Awesome. Uh, the first time I saw that, this car, the Tesla Roadster, was in the Road Tripping Series. And I have none of those. Um, 
I really wanted the skyline. Uh, skylines have eluded me, you guys. I just I can't find them here, where I live in the South Bay area of Southern California. You can't find anything. Um, there's so many collectors over here. You can forget it. Here's another great one. I want to see a wheel swap on this one. The Scion FRS. Let's crack that. Kind of cool, you know, little short cards. You know, get them cracked. Got to free the piece, you guys. There's no sense in keeping these things in the package. I can't enjoy them. I can't show them to my son. And the packaging will just eat them up over time. Got my grimy fingers all over the windshield. You know, that's a custom detail you can't get anywhere. But this is cool. I like the 86 on there. That's a nod to the Toyota GT86. This car is rebadged and renamed the Scion FRS in this country. Why, I don't know. But that's cool. Take a look at the base. Just awesome, you guys. And now, finally, the one I was really excited about about the finds and on a short card I hope this doesn't anger carded collectors out there because this looks really cool so I'll give you a good long look at it because I'm about to wreck this card but the Nissan 180SX so there was another collector there and uh, he requested that a case be brought out in the uh, store I was in they don't normally do that so they brought it out and he was such a generous guy, he shared the cards with me. There was only one portion of the case, and as, as he asked for the case, you know, that was his. But there were two of these, and he gave me one. Just so cool, and I really appreciate that, you guys. Um, you know, no sense in hoarding all the castings. I mean, unless you're going to give them away, then I say go for it. But I, I, I left behind a bunch of stuff today, and I try to do that. I try to leave cars behind for other collectors. I'm going to go ahead and crack this. Hoping that a collector will do the same for me. But here we go, you guys. It's great to have a Sylvia, or in this case, the 180SX, in my collection. I had a uh, 91, I think it was, uh, 240SX, I don't recall, but it was this generation body style. Uh, with a single overhead cam engine and uh, on uh, September the 11th 2001 I folded it on a freeway on ramp you guys how unfortunate but this is a great casting I love how check this out you guys see the pop-up headlights they're like half up like it's winking at you that's really cool it, you guys it just brings back so many memories having one of these it had tinted windows and a moon roof it was awesome but this one is an awesome mainline casting you know we've got the little details in the back you know I just like that for a dollar car I, I'm just stoked about that and I think it's really cool that they will take the time to do the extra details it makes me feel good as a collector you guys it really does. I'm staring at a car over here. I don't know if I want to crack it. I'm going to save it. I'm going to save it, you guys. I'm sorry I even went there on that tangent. It's this. I'll just show it to you. It's going to get cracked later. Um, this is a 66 Oldsmobile 442 from Auto World. That's the recolor in black. Um, but that'll get cracked later. But anyway, you guys. Thank you so much for joining me. I really appreciate everyone who watches my videos. You guys are completely awesome. Thank you to all new subscribers. I really, really appreciate you guys. Anyway, thank you for watching. If you have any questions or comments, please go ahead and leave those. I welcome all comments. Uh, get a discussion going. I love all this stuff. I really appreciate you guys. Take care, everybody. God bless you and your families. Audi 5000.